Dear students, welcome to another session of my lecture series. In the last class, we determined rank of a given matrix. In today's class, I will be discussing our system of linear equations. So, let us first understand what is a linear equation first of all. System of linear equations. System of linear equations. System of linear equations. A linear equation. A linear equation in the variables in the variables x1, x2, x3, etc. xn x1, x2, etc. xn is an equation is an equation that can be written in the form that can be written in the form that can be written in the form a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 and so on plus an xn is equal to b. So this is a linear equation where a and b are constants. Where a and b are constants are constants <coughs> which may be real or complex which may be a real number or complex Real or complex. So in real life problems, this can be this n can be a 5000 or even larger. <coughs> in real life problem, in real life problems, n might be Yeah, might be 50 or 5000 or 5000 <coughs> or even larger or even larger. <coughs> For example, the equations. The equations the equations four x one minus five x two plus two is equal to x one and x2 is equal to twice root 6 minus x1 plus x3 are both linear equations are both 
linear. As these two can be expressed in the form of one. As both of them, as both of them can be expressed in the form of one. Can be expressed in the form of one. In the form the equations the equations four x one minus five x two is equal to three into x one into x two. And x two is equal to two into root x one minus four plus x three are not linear. Are not linear for a simple reason. These two cannot be expressed in the form. As both of them, as both of them cannot be expressed in the form of one, cannot be expressed in the form of one. In the form, a system of such linear equations is a collection of one or more linear equations involving the same variables. A system of linear equation. A system of linear equations is a collection of is a collection of one or more. Linear equation one or more linear equations involving involving the same variables involving the same variables. For example. For example, for example, this is a system of linear equation. X one plus four x two minus x three plus x four is equal to one. Minus x one plus five x two plus six x three is equal to zero. Five x two minus x three plus seven x four is equal to minus four. This is a system of linear. Now let me discuss uh, consistency.
of linear system of equations. Consistency of linear system of of linear equations in n unknowns. <coughs> consider, consider the system of linear equations, linear equations <coughs> a one 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 a one one x one plus a one two x two a one two x two plus a one three x three and so on plus a one n x n is equal to b the constant b one is a constant the second equation a to one x one plus a to two x two plus a to n x n is equal to b. So constant. So likewise a three one a three two etc etc. Then a four one etc etc. So last thing, you have to know am1 x1 plus am2 x2 plus amn xn is equal to bm. Is equal to bm. Is equal to bm. And this is a system of linear equation in n norms containing n unknowns <coughs> containing n unknowns <coughs> containing n unknowns <coughs> what are the unknowns x1 x2 etc x unknowns x1 x2 etc etc x the system of equations one, let me call this as one, can be written in the matrix form as follows. The system of equations one, system of equations one, can be written, can be written in matrix form, can be written in matrix form in matrix form as <coughs> a simple equation Ax is equal to B. The entire system of equation can be simply represented in matrix form like Ax is equal to B where A where a is called the coefficient matrix where A is equal to A11, A12, etc. etc. A11, A21, second row, second column A22, etc. etc. A2, N, A2, N. Similarly, we have A31 is a construct of A3n, A41 is a construct of A4n, then last one, AM1, AM2 is a construct of 
ये क्या हो गया ये या This is called the coefficient matrix of called the coefficient matrix of coefficient matrix of the system of linear equations. What? Because 
then 2 becomes ax is equal to 0. Call this equation as 2. 2 becomes ax is equal to 0. Such a system of equations, such a system of equations is called a system of is called a system of homogeneous homogeneous linear equations homogeneous linear equations homogeneous linear equations if any one of the entries in the B matrix not equal to 0 then the equation number 2 represents a system of non-homogeneous linear equations. <coughs> if at least, if at least one of B1, B2, Bn, is non zero is non zero then b is not equal to zero then b is not equal to zero such a system of equation such a system of equation is called that is ax is equal to b ax is equal to b is called a system non homogeneous a system of non homogeneous linear represents a system of linear equations. Okay, solving the matrix equation x is equal to b means finding x means finding x that is finding that is finding a column matrix finding a column matrix let us say alpha beta gamma finding a column matrix alpha beta gamma such that such that x is equal to let us take the variables unknowns x y z unknowns x y z is equal to alpha beta gamma then then x is equal to alpha, x is equal to alpha, y is equal to beta, z is equal to gamma. 
Now this matrix A is equal to B always need not have a solution. It may have one and only one unique solution. It may have one uh, <coughs> more than one solution that is infinite number of solutions or it may not have a solution also. So let me mention this. <coughs> The matrix equation, the matrix equation Ax is equal to B, Ax is equal to B, need not always need not always have a solution. Need not always have a solution. It may have a unique solution. It may have a unique solution. or an infinite number of solutions, infinite number of solutions or no solution or no solutions. A system of equations having no solution is said to be a system of inconsistency or inconsistent system of equations. A system of equations having one or more solution is called consistency, consistent system of solutions, so system of equations. <coughs> a system of equations A system of equations a system of equations having no solution system of equations having no solution is called as inconsistent is called inconsistent system of equations inconsistent system of equations. A system of equation, a system of equations having one or more One or more solutions is called a consistent is called a consistent system of equations. of linear equations having a solution is called consistent system of equations. If a system of equations having no solution is called 
inconsistent system of equations. Let us discuss about the condition for existence of solution, unique solution, no solution, etc. For a system of Can determine the rank of a matrix. Okay. <coughs> what? Yes. The rank of the augmented matrix A bar B is the rank of the augmented matrix A bar B is not equal to rank of the coefficient matrix of the system of linear equations A x is equal to B. If the rank of a augmented matrix not equal to rank of the coefficient matrix, coefficient matrix, coefficient matrix, then the system of equations A x is equal to B is inconsistent. That means no solution. The system of the system of equations is inconsistent is inconsistent that is no solution that is no solution. solution does not exist if the system is inconsistent. When it is inconsistent, when the rank of the augmented matrix is not equal to rank of the coefficient matrix, then the system of equations does not have a solution and hence the system of equations is inconsistent. The second observation if they are equal, okay, rank of the augmented matrix is equal to rank of the coefficient matrix and equal to number of unknowns, number of unknowns. number of unknowns. Then the system of equations automatically consistent because they are equal, consistent and possesses unique solution, only one solution, but only one solution, unknown. The system of equations is not equal to the system of equations is consistent is consistent and has and has a unique solution and has a unique solution okay. then other possibility if rank of if rank of augmented matrix 
tab or b is exactly equal to rank or the coefficient matrix but less than number of elements less than number of unknowns then also the system is inconsistent uh, consistent but possesses infinite number of solutions uh, number of are uh, less than number of unknowns the system the system of equations is consistent is consistent and has an infinite number of solutions and has an infinite number of solutions. and has an infinite number of solutions okay next for a system of homogeneous <coughs> for a system of homogeneous linear equation a x is equal to b because b is equal to 0 here a x is equal to 0 for a system of homogeneous linear equation that constant matrix with constants b1 b2 bm is 0 so a x is equal to 0 for a system of homogeneous Linear equation. The system of equations x is equal to 0 has always a solution that is x1 is equal to 0, x2 is equal to 0, xn is equal to 0. That is called the zero solution. So, therefore, the system of uh, linear equation ax is equal to b is always consistent, okay? is always consistent as it has one solution called the zero solution, which is also called as the trivial solution. So once the equation has a solution, it is inconsistent. So by default, ax is equal to 0 is always consistent. x is equal to 0. x is equal to 0. That is x1 is equal to 0, x2 is equal to 0, etc. etc. xn is equal to 0. Is always a solution. Is always a solution x is equal to 0 is always a solution called the zero solution called the zero solution or trivial solution or trivial solution x is equal to 0 is always a solution called the zero solution or trivial solution. Hence, the system of equation, hence, the system of equations, system of equations, ax is equal to zero, is always consistent x is equal to 0, equal to 0, is always consistent, is always consistent. Is always consistent. Second. Here is rank of the quotient matrix is equal to the number of unknowns, number of 
unknowns. Then x is equal to zero is the only solution possible. Number of unknowns. The system has the system has only zero solution. Consistent, then we can solve for the unknowns x, y, z. So these are the 
uh, this is the system of linear equations in three unknowns namely x, y and z. So first of all let us write this in the matrix form. First let us write the given system of equations in matrix form. The given system of equations can be written the given system of equations can be written in matrix form.
So this is equivalent to equivalent to. As I told you in the previous class, to make this zero, no need whether uh, uh, to have one in the first row, first column. If it is already there, then it is well and good. Otherwise, also no worry. We can uh, sort of, uh, reduce the elements to zero by suitable multiplication and then subtracting. <coughs> okay, so what I do? So this again. This is a row one. This is row two. This is row three. R three. So I will do the operation to make these two elements zero. This is the leading entry in the first row, first column five. Okay, using this element, I will try to make three and seven zero. So like this. So R two will change subject to the uh, operation five R two five R two. Because both are plus sign, so I have to subtract. Minus three R, minus three R. Similarly, I can make this zero. That is, R three will change with the operation five R three, five R three again minus here seven R minus seven times R. Okay. Let us look at this. The first row. Row one is being used to make these two entries zero, so there is no change here. So I write as it is: five, three, seven, and uh, then four. So let us see what happens to the next element. So <coughs> five times R two, R two is three minus three times R one, five. So fifteen minus fifteen is zero. Fifteen minus fifteen. So this element is zero. Next, let us say, uh, five times after three we have twenty-six. Twenty-six minus a uh, three times three, three. So this will be one twenty-one. If you carefully calculate, we get one twenty-one here. So this is one twenty. Next, with this two, five into two minus three into corresponding element is seven. So this is ten minus twenty-one minus eleven. So this is minus eleven. Then we have one more element nine. So five into nine minus. Three into four. This is forty-five minus twelve. So this will give you thirty-three. What? Thirty-three plus thirty-three. Now let us look at the third row. What will happen to the third row? <coughs> five times R three. Five times seven. Minus seven times R one, so corresponding element is five. So this is thirty-five minus thirty-five. So, so this is zero. Next, five times two R three minus seven times corresponding R one is three. So this is ten minus twenty-one minus eleven minus eleven. Then. We have ten here, so five into ten minus seven into seven, so this is fifty minus forty-nine, so this is one. This is one. <coughs> Then we have another element here, so five times five minus seven times corresponding element. This is twenty-five. Minus twenty-eight, so minus two. Minus two. Okay. So I get equivalent matrix with elements like this. Now, what I can do? You can easily see this. Second row is a constant multiple of the. 
third row. What is that constant multiple? 11. 11 times 11 square is 11 into 11 is 121. 1 into 11 is 11. 1 into 11 into 33 is 3 is 33. So I can use R3 to make these two entries 0. There are many possibilities. You can divide this by 11. So you get 11 minus 1, 3 and then subtract. Otherwise, use R3 to make these two entries 0 because this is not in a graph form. This is not in a graph form. So there are two ways of doing it. One way is divide row 2 by 11 and then subtract R with this to make this element 0. Otherwise, you can always go uh, from R3 to make changes in R3. So let us see this. This is equivalent to R2 will see the changes with the operation <coughs> R2 plus R2 plus 11 times R3. So I get equivalent matrix, equivalent matrix. So R1 is not changed. 5, 3, 7, 4, 0. So I can easily say <coughs> 11, what is happening here? 121 R2 uh, plus 11 times R3 minus 11. So 11 square is 121 only. So 121 minus 121 is 0. Similarly, <coughs> minus 11, minus 11, plus 11 times R3, R3 is 1, 11 minus 11 is again 0. Then, you have 33 here, 33 plus 11 times minus 3, R3 minus 3, so this is 33 minus 33 is again 0. So we are using R3 to make changes in R2. R3 is not changed. Minus 11, 1, minus 3. But as per our economic forum, 0 row should go to the bottom level, right? to the bottommost uh, row. So interchange R2 and R3. Interchange R2 and R3. So we get 5374, 5374, 5374, 4, 4. Then your R3 become R2, 0, minus 11, 1, minus 3, then R0. 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is a column for A column for Now, let us look at consistency. Consistency says rank of the adjoint matrix should be equal to rank of the coefficient matrix. So without this column, what we see is coefficient matrix. Okay. With this, what we see is equivalent augmented matrix. Now, to check the ranks of both the matrices, both are available in this reduce in this matrix itself. In this far for Ecolar for of the augmented matrix. If you log this and count the number of non-zero rows, one, two. So rank of coefficient matrix is two. Now you find the rank of the segmented matrix in its ground uh, form. Again, we have two non-zero rows. So, rank of augmented matrix is 2. So, rank of quotient matrix is 2. Rank of augmented matrix is also 2. So, they are equal. That means it is consistent. But less than number of unknowns. 1, 2, 3. So, the system is consistent and has infinite number of solutions. The rank of A is 
So from this, it is clear that from this, it is clear that rank of admitted batteries is equal to rank of coefficient matrix rank of coefficient matrix both are equal to and as I told you we close this find the rank of this matrix that is that will be the rank of the coefficient matrix it is 2 1 2 not 0 rows remove the rest of what you see is rank of the uh, ethanol form of the Admitted matrix, its rank is 1, 2 again. So, rank of the admitted matrix is 2. Also, rank of the uh, coefficient matrix is 2. But less than number of hormones, because number of hormones is 3, less than number of unknowns. Less than number of unknowns. That means the system A H is equal to B is consistent, no doubt, but it has infinite number of solutions. <coughs> Therefore, the system, the given system of equations, the given system of equations is consistent consistent and has an infinite number of solutions infinite number of solutions infinite number of solutions. So what are those solutions we have to find? So now the given system of equations is now equal to <coughs> so we have to write the equations from this matrix. The given system of equation the given system of equations is equivalent to is equivalent to 5x plus 3y plus 7z is equal to 4 minus 11y plus z minus 3 equivalent to 5x plus 3y plus 7z is equal to 4 minus 11y plus 1 into z is equal to minus 3. So I call this as equation number 1. Equation of one. So from two, from two, eleven by is equal to z plus three. So therefore, y is equal to three by eleven. 3 by 11 plus z by 11. So from 1, let us use this equation in the equation 1. So from 1, 5x plus 3 times y, substitute this y here, that is 3 by 11 plus z by 11 plus 7z 
plus seven z is equal to four. So five x plus three by so plus the centers three z by the one plus seven z. So three by the one plus seven. Z plus nine by eleven take uh, minus four equal to zero. Take four to the left hand side. Okay. Ah, uh, this is five x plus. The seventy-seven plus the eighty by eleven z. Eighty by eleven z plus forty-four minus uh, nine minus forty-four minus thirty-five minus thirty-five by eleven is equal to zero. So that was five x. Five x is equal to thirty-five by eleven minus eighty by eleven times z. So therefore, x is equal to so divide by five through. So this is a seven by eleven fifty-six divided by eleven z sixteen sixteen by eleven divided by z. So the x value, there is a free variable z. We can assume any value. So x value is seven by eleven minus sixteen by eleven z. Y is three by eleven plus z by eleven. Suppose if I give, you give any value to z, it will be a solution of this system of equations. That's why it is infinite number of solution. So one uh, particular solution for z is equal to zero is y is equal to three by eleven, x is equal to seven by eleven, and z is equal to zero. So this assumes for z is equal to one is also a solution. So uh, as as z assumes the values, x and y also assumes the values. So that means the system of equations has infinite number of solution. One particular solution for z is equal to zero is x is equal to seven by eleven plus zero, y is equal to three by eleven plus zero, z is equal to zero. So with this, I conclude this session. I'll continue the remaining portion in my next lecture.